<laughs> Welcome everyone, it's this new video tutorial about Diablo-like dungeon generator. In this video we are going to continue building our four style logic and we are going to create the corridor, I mean the corners. So we created the corridor in the previous videos. We are just going to duplicate that function that creates a corridor to create a corner, create forest corner. And what does this function needs? So it needs to know in what location it's creating and it also needs to know is this so we have four type of we have four type of um we I think we need the directions. Since we have four types of corners northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. So we will need to know if we coming from if we come from the north and the west. So we might just need two booleans. But we are going to ask for the direction that's going to be more convenient in directions. So what do we want to do here? We want to we're we're just going to ignore the rest of the code we duplicated for now. And we're going to say that we're going to break this break directory path. So I made this the wrong, I created the wrong type of parameter. So I want direction, I want to hit compile. I want to break these directions. I want to find in there. So first thing I want to do is to ask is the north connected? And then I want to do is the way is the east connected so if, if the north is connected and th these two checks can give me all gives me all the information I want so then what do we want to do so we actually want to get rid to get rid of the rest except for the return node we want to get rid of all the local variable variables we created so we want to say we want a corner that goes from north to east, let's say. So we are we're in we're on the tile. I'm going to get rid of that. Everything. I want to get rid of that. I'm there, then I'm there, then I want to spawn a northeast corridor. So I'm going to say a south a southwest corridor. So south west. So we want to say is this style as does this style we want that tile to be a corridor a corner so yeah we want to say is the next location we want to find a random location around the tile we are on and then we want to say is that connection is this is this spot as a free spot on the on the west but we actually do not want them to spawn like this so we want to say we want to leave we want to leave our previous location towards the south or the north depending on that value so first thing we want to do is to ask so can we create the same type of corridor in the in the other sense in the other So if I'm if I generated the dungeon starting from there and then I spawned that tile and then I asked for a south east corridor uh this uh, would have tried to spawn a tile in here so if I'm there, it cannot spawn a southeast corridor, I believe. It will need, so this is, so yeah, this is a southeast. So we need to, we just need to check all the tiles around and make sure and check the tile to their right or left side. If we are coming from, 
If we want a south, we want to go north. So if we have a south corridor corner, we want to go north and find the west or and find out if the north, okay, if the west or the east are used, etc. So what do we want to do here? We want to get the location around that tile going. So where are we going? We're going towards. We're going to select. We're going to uh, actually. We're just going to revert. So we're we're going to select. So if the north is connected, we're going to go south. Else, we're going to go north. Like that, uh, starting at our initial location, and we're going to promote that to a function to a local variable. I mean, this is our temp lock. This is the temporary location we are looping through. So we find the tile, which is, we want a corner, which is going north and east. So we want to find if that location towards east is not used. So we want to know if this is not used, and we also want to know if this is not used, the temp location, and this is going to be our found, found lock, and we want to check the found lock. So if any of these, if all of this is true, so we, fir we first get the tile above or below the first, the, the initial location. And then, so we are going to promote that to a local variable, temp directions. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going to be our temp directions. We are going to break them like this and break them like that. And we want to say, we want to select that direction. If the east is connected, we want the we want to go west. Uh, we want to check towards yep the west, or else we want to check towards the east. In any case, if I'm mis if this is a mistake, we are just going to reverse them, and it's going to work. So we are asking for a corner. At that location, we have that type of direction. If we are trying to go north, we find the southern location. If the southern the southern location is not used, we are we are finding out if the east or the west, depending on the type of cor corner we're trying to to create, is not used. If it's not used, we found the location of our corner, I suppose. So when we create a forced corridor, we're actually adding a lot of stuff. So we are just going to copy and paste that. And we are going to say that we added a corner at... So the first thing is not the temporary location, is the forced lock. So we want to add a force tile at the force lock location connected to the initial location. And we want to create a generic tile at our found location connected to our forced location. And we want, we want to return success. Else we want to return fail like that. We're going to hit compile, hit save, go back to our create for set tile function and get our check for corridor room function not at all create forced corner function and connect that to our switch on int on integer we're not going to cross wires too much we're going to duplicate our return node we want to pass the direction as information and we want to pass the current location 
as information as well. We want to hit compile. And I think we want to delete the four style we add and we want to add a new four style at 25%. And it, this is going to be a northeast corridor. We're going to hit save and press play. And it did not work. So if we, if we want a corner, if we want a corner, so I'm just double checking real quick that I haven't made any obvious errors like I like I did previously. We want to add that. So I'm just going to add a print to string, uh, a print to screen. So I'm just going to add a print in here, debugging this just to make sure it's actually trying to spawn a corner. So it's not actually even trying to spawn a corner. So where did we fail? If we, we said at 25% of the dungeon, you're going to create a corner going from north to east. And it's not actually even looping through the corner. It's actually not even going there. So why is, not, is it not going there? I'm going back to our direction to flow. This, this should be returning. This should be returning corner. Is that because of the north bug yet again? Once again? I'm going to make sure. Well, actually, it, it's only. It's the only possible case. So I'm just going to grab that and print that return value. So I think it's going to tell me corridor. It's not even telling me corridor. So if I'm adding a corridor, what what it is going to tell me? So it's not doing anything. If I'm saying I have a margin error of 100. So that seems it seems to be the problem seems to be the the error margin. So for now we're just going to ignore it. So we are asking for a corner at 25% and it's always creating the north east. So it's that, is this north east? No, that's north west. So I think we just have to, so for, we can remove the print to string. We can also remove that print to string because the problem doesn't come from that. It comes from the, per, the tile, the, margin the error margin so when we create a corner what do we want to do i think we actually want to reverse that so if i'm hitting play so this is a north east con corner and if i say i do want now i want north west corner this is working and I want south east corner, south east, and then I want, I'm just checking the last one just to make sure everything works. So it seemed to be working. So we made, we built the logic for the corner function, for the corner feature. Uh, it's going to wrap up that video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.